Hello everyone, today we are doing uh, The Hardest Part by Chris Martin from Coldplay and we're doing the piano version or the acoustic version, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is a hired request and uh, someone wanted this version for me to do and uh, you know it costs a little more but sometimes the live versions are, are better. It takes me more time so that's why it costs more because I have to listen to it very intently but um, let's hear a little bit of it here it goes like this all right and then so forth this is the free part one that I always put on YouTube and for those of you who don't know me hello I'm Sean Cheek welcome to my easy piano lessons this is the free part one on YouTube. The rest of it will be on webpianoteacher.com um, for members. And along with tons of other videos, well over a thousand now. Uh, you can find me on Facebook if you want to keep up with me. See what I'm posting, uh, what new videos I'm doing. Just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com. Or you can uh, find my blog, which is on my website, webpianoteacher.com. A lot of articles on there you can read uh, that I've written. Also, I'm on Twitter if you want uh, to do that sort of thing. Uh, my name is Web Piano Teacher on Twitter. Anyway, let's get to this uh, part one here. All right, my apologies to those of you who have to suffer through my ads <laughs> at the beginning of all these videos, but this is the way I make a living, so I have to do that. All right, so we're starting with this, and if you're following along and you want to hear the original, uh, just do a YouTube search for Chris Martin, the hardest part piano version and then you can can listen to what I'm doing here and I do the whole song on the, the videos but uh, we'll start with okay it's got a little rhythmic pattern that goes through the whole thing so uh, let's get to that right hand middle C and G left hand is going to have a C octave so C on the thumb C on the pinky play that all together then we're going to play a B flat in the right and a B flat in the left, and then C octave, and then D octave. So see how the left and right hand have the same notes, B flat, C, D, alright? And I like to finger that 3, 2, 1, and 2, 3, 4, that's what I'm using, but... And it's just bup, 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 okay? For those of you who find that difficult to play that... Uh, octave in, in the fourth there, and then get to this. You can just play just the, the plain C if you want to make it easier. All right, but anyway, bum, 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 bum. don't pedal it too much because there, you know, notes in a scale that'll blur, especially down lower in the lower register of the piano. G, B flat, E flat. This is an E flat major chord here. Left hand's on an E flat octave, so E flat on the thumb, E flat on the pinky. Play it all together. Okay, so we have bum, 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 da, 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 da. And then we're going to have this rhythm. Ba, 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 over and over again. <laughs> so this is E flat in the left hand. The, leaf, the E flat you're already playing on the thumb. And then we go to the thumb of the right hand. For those of you who follow me, you know I always say it's like playing the drums on the piano. And that's what it's like. I'm just slapping on my leg here, but it's, you know, kind of like doing the drumsticks on the drums, if you've ever played drums. But it's left, right, left, right. Okay? So let's go from the beginning to that point. Ready, go. Left, right, left, right. We change the pedal here. Lift your pedal up and put it back down on this chord, G, B flat, D, F. It's a G minor 7, if you're wondering what the chord is. Some of you don't care, that's fine. Left hand, G and D. So right, left, ba, ba. And then we're going to go, da, 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 da. Again, left, right, left, right. And that's the D that we're already playing here on the left. And then the G that we're already playing on this chord. D, G, D, G. So let's go slowly from the very beginning and add that on. Ready, go. Left, right, left, right, pedal, ba, 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 B flat. And he just throws a B 
flat in there on the left hand. Okay, so it's B flat left hand, and then the right hand will have C or G, C, E flat. A lot of times on these kind of things, the right hand chord will jump the gun, it'll jump the beat. It'll get there early because of the syncopation. So that's why you have the chord and then the left hand octave. You notice that? Hey, right here you have the chord and then the octave, and then the, the bass part, right, left. These two are, go together, they're the same chord, but the right hand kind of gets there first, okay? Like that, ba -ba. That kind of thing. Alright, so right hand first on G, C, E flat, then the left hand comes in on a C octave. And then we're going to have ba ba, ba ba, left, right, left, right, again, C, G, C, G. Now, it says two times up here, but it's not quite two times. You go back and do it again, C, G, and then you stop at the little asterisk there. So it's not quite two times. It's one and, uh, you know, three-fourths or something <laughs> like that. <clears throat> so let's go from the beginning to that point. Ready, go. Let's do it again. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and finish out, and then I'll do it several times for you. So we just did this two times. Now we're going to go. So the octave C, which we're being, we've been doing here, we're just playing it a different way. C octave, and then G C E flat again, and then left hand B flat octave, which really goes with this chord. See how they're offset, and then G B flat E flat on the right. This goes over here, you know, it's, it's with this chord, but the left hand jumps the gun here. And then, or you can look at it this way, you can look at it as the right hand being first, that's probably what it is. Right hand first, and then left hand, E flat octave, and then E flat G, E flat G, and then we do that two times, that's two full times. So then we do this again. See that? I'll start right here again. Especially with rhythms. So I'm going to play this several times at a slow tempo and then we'll do it fast again, okay? Um, so here we go, slowly from the beginning all the way. Ready, go. Ready, go. 